Hello everyone, welcome back to The Budget Sportsman. Today's video is going to be another video out of the Tethered Phantom saddle. If you haven't watched my last video, it was kind of my personal introduction into saddle hunting. I'm a brand new newbie in the saddle hunting. And so it was kind of my introduction. So today is kind of my first day ever shooting the bow out of the saddle. Now one thing that I want to mention right off the bat is that while I haven't really shot out of the saddle yet, I have moved around the tree and tried to figure out how I would take certain shots. And what I found and what really surprised me is that it actually seems a lot easier than what some of the videos make it out to be. And I think the reason is sometimes when people try to express how easy it is, it can look confusing, it can look complicated, and there are actually multiple ways to perform the same shot. So just know that if today's video looks confusing or it looks hard, it really isn't. And I'm gonna to try to do my best to show you that today. So let's start by taking some shots on the strong side of the tree. If you're not familiar with what strong side would mean, as an archer, I'm a right-handed archer, but that means as a right-handed archer, I hold the bow in my left hand. And so my left-hand side of my body is gonna be my strong side. You see, I don't have to move around the tree at all. Anything on this side of the tree is my strong side, and I can do pretty much any shot I want quite a ways around the tree without ever doing a whole lot of motion. So let's take a couple of shots here on the strong side, and then we'll look at a couple of what would seem to be more complicated shots. All right, so as you can see, that's super easy to do. There's nothing to it. You have good form. And it's really no more difficult than shooting out of a regular tree stand on your strong side. Super, super easy. Now, again, let me point out here that you could pretty much shoot anywhere on this whole strong side quite easily, just with a little bit of swing of the hips. So now let's go and let's go on our weak side, which is over here toward the camera off my right hand side. And let's see how we can make that shot and how difficult or easy it actually is. All right, so now we have the target over here by the camera which is my weak side shot. The shot where normally in a tree stand you would stand up and you would turn all the way around. So now I'm gonna show you how I think that is probably the easiest way to perform that weak side shot. And what I would do is I would start off just like I'm gonna shoot strong side, my bow over here on the left side, and you could just gradually rotate around the tree until you're right here. Boom, execute that shot, no problem. And as you can see, if you can make that shot, now you can make anywhere around the tree with basically a normal strong side shot, nothing too complicated at all. Now, let me show you one other way. Again, let's start the same way on our strong side. And let's just rotate the opposite direction. So we're just gonna hold this pose right here. We're just gonna swing around till my hips hit the tree. Boom. So as you can see, I shot the same target on my weak side from two different positions. Both of them worked just fine. And as you can see, if you can do those two shots, now you can do anything you want the entire way around the tree, super easy. Now there's actually two more ways that you can make this weak side shot. And I think this is where sometimes it begins to look complicated. And so if it does, don't worry about it. The ways that I just showed you there worked great for me and I'm super happy with that. There's a way that people have showed you where you bring your bow under the bridge and get your arm down underneath here. And now you're standing. And now you can make a standing weak side shot, which is actually now strong side because you've turned around. But to me, this just is not something that I'm a huge, huge fan of personally. Now let me show you the last way that you could potentially make this weak side shot. So let's put one more arrow in. Now, the last way to make this shot would be to bring your bow up and over the bridge. Now to me, this gets tricky because your arrow's there, you might have a broadhead in it, and that's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So to me, again, this is not something that's my favorite way but a lot of people really like it. Bring the bow over, and now, see, I've got my bridge kind of in the way. So I gotta rotate my hips out and around. And I might even be able to bring myself into the tree. And 
and execute the shot. So you see, I actually shot this three different ways and showed you an additional way to shoot on the weak side. So you have four different ways that you could potentially shoot that weak side shot. Again, keeping in mind that if you can do the first two ways, you can shoot anywhere in a saddle. Let me just show you one more time. So let's start by coming around this side of the tree, draw, and I can shoot right there, no problem. And now I can slowly pivot my way all the way around the tree. I can shoot directly under me. I can shoot 30, 40 yards out. I can shoot anywhere I want, all the way back to the beginning, and boom, there's another shot. So as you can see, without ever crossing the bridge, I could basically make any shot I wanted just by simply rotating around the tree. Now I'll be honest, that's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this video, hope it's helpful to you, maybe deciding whether or not you want to get into a saddle for next season, or maybe you're already in a saddle and having trouble making some shots. Personally, I found it to be super easy and super fun. Till next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.